Finally, small incisions are created on the abdomen. Trocars, which serve as passageways for the surgical instruments, are placed into the incisions. Surgical instruments are passed through the trocars to access the abdominal cavity. The surgeon examines the abdomen using a laparoscope or video camera. The average human stomach can expand to hold around 1 to 1.5 liters of food. While in the stomach, food is combined with digestive enzymes to help break down the food into a more simple form so that it can be more easily digested and absorbed once in the small bowel. During a sleeve gastrectomy, a thin vertical sleeve is created by using a stapling device. This sleeve will typically hold between 50 to 150 milliliters, or is about the size of a banana. The excised portion of the stomach is removed. The newly created gastric sleeve is able to hold approximately one-tenth of what the stomach was able to hold before. This smaller stomach sleeve restricts the amount of food you can eat before feeling full. The bile and pancreatic fluids from the liver and pancreas mix with the food and allow it to be completely digested and absorbed in the bowel. There is no rerouting of the small bowel or post-operative adjustments necessary for the sleeve gastrectomy. As with all weight loss procedures, behavior modification and dietary compliance plays a critical part in determining the long-term success of the procedure.